Hey everyone, it's Riley. Thanks for coming back and watching another episode of My First Year on Tea. This week we're talking about online trans spaces. So I have never recorded a video, at least that I was going to publish, on this. I'm on my computer, so if I look a little bit different, or I sound a little bit different, that's why, in case you care. The online trans spaces that I normally use are Facebook groups and YouTube. So with YouTube, I feel like they're usually pretty helpful. I have my own channel, and of course this channel, I feel like this has been really helpful and a supportive community, so I think that's really great. I know there's been some recent drama in the trans YouTube community. So of course that's going to be a little more harmful, but for me personally, I've never had any negative feelings. Um, I sometimes have had some negative comments on my videos, but not really anything that was a big deal. When it comes to Facebook groups, I think they can a lot of times be really harmful because, I don't know, I'm 30 and when I'm in groups with people, I was almost going to say kids, that are 16 through like 22 or 23, a lot of times it seems like there's a lot of drama or if I try to say something, people get offended really easily. Of course, this doesn't only happen in that age group, but I'm saying when I'm in Facebook groups that are primarily that age, it seems to happen more often instead of some of the groups I'm in that you have to be at least 30 to be in them. I'm starting to feel like when I'm in online spaces or sometimes even in person, like there's nothing I can say that is not offending someone or the tone, it really gets lost when you're online. So people might think you're trying to say it one way and then you, they think like, but you're not actually trying to argue, but they think you are. And it just causes like our own community to not be really cohesive and nice to each other. I think Facebook groups can be really helpful. I have asked a lot of questions since I've come out about different things and found like really good advice. And they've been great because I've used them for selling some of my t-shirts like I talked about in my last video or spreading the word about events or I've found people in there that I've put into YouTube videos. So those have been like really great and I am part of like in-person communities as well, which I prefer. But of course, like one of the groups I'm in, there's like 15,000 people in it. So that's a lot quicker to reach a lot more people. Um, but being in person, it's nice because then you get to know the person and you can really convey like the tone you're trying to come across with. I don't know. I feel like this is probably true for just being online versus in person. In general, I don't think it's just online trans spaces. I think it's any online groups or even just talking over Facebook in general is sometimes difficult. And... I feel glad that I am the age that I am just because I feel like I kind of existed before this whole technology era and a lot of younger people I know. I mean, I work I work with students and they just like stare at their phone 24-7. It doesn't seem like they know how to communicate in person and they might not feel as comfortable going to like trans groups or groups in person but that's something that I I guess have been more used to and putting myself out there because these spaces didn't exist when I was a little bit younger. That's all I really have to say about this topic. We are trying to hit 300 subscribers as soon as possible so if you haven't already subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching my video, even though I can see that my face is going all crazy and it's kind of hurting my eyes. I'll have my regular camera next time, but 
check out the other videos and if you ever have any ideas for us shoot us a message and yeah have a good week i'll see you later bye